YouTube. How y'all doing, man? It's your boy, Steezo, the motherfucking God. Now, look, I know I asked y'all in my last video, let me get 13K likes or less or I'm not dropping the tutorial. But check it out, bro. I love y'all. And I'm a nice guy. And sometimes I don't be always telling the truth. I was going to give y'all the tutorial anyways. But, yeah. Y'all can just thank me by liking this video, turning on the subscription, turning on the post notifications. We are dropping content all 2K20. I'm sorry it took this long to be consistent, Steez, but look, I figured I owed y'all. This is about my fourth year in the community, and y'all always are just, I feel like I got the best fan base in all the 2K. Y'all are just so loyal. Y'all always show love, so why not show love back to y'all and give y'all what y'all been asking for? Which is none other than a dribble tutorial, an in-depth dribble tutorial. I mean, I don't do dribble tutorials like anyone else. Like I said, I try to be really in-depth. I try to explain myself clearly. I got the controller hand cam for y'all. What? Well, it's not even hand cam, but I got the controller for y'all. Like I said, if you don't understand what I'm saying verbally, please feel free to rewind the video, slow down the video. Just you can watch it as many times. Whatever I gotta do or whatever you gotta do to understand what I'm saying, to help you do the moves that I teach in this video, please help yourself. Now, the moves that everyone's been asking for. I don't know the names of the people, so I'm just gonna show it on the screen. We have the Whoopty Whopper. I know it's something with a hesitation behind the back glitchy, and I'm gonna show you how to get that glitchy animation. I'm not about to just show you how to do it. I will show you why it looks like I'm just turning from one direction to the other. I got y'all. So yeah, the Whoopty Whopper turnaround. We just gonna call it that for now. And I will be teaching you how to Steezo roll, y'all. A lot of y'all been asking me about that Steezo roll, especially from the last video I uploaded. Please go watch my SIG video. Go watch my jump shot video. Even go watch my challenge video if you want to know when to use the roll, when not to. You know, I got all this information for y'all. I'm going to try to give y'all a... I'm trying to be a good channel that just gives you good information this year. Because this year, is, you know, it's not really about flash as it is about just just winning the game or just knowing how to do it but who knows you can do anything is possible but i've been talking too much so let me get into the first step that y'all need to do in this channel look at my tattoos i gotta tell what a tattoo tutorial too <laughs> let's go but look it go to controller settings and make sure that your pro stick orientation is on absolute now i understand people just be dribbling on camera relative i don't know how you do that I don't do that. Trust me, you'd be better off on absolute. Most of the people I know that dribble on camera relative, they're just, they kind of stuck in their ways. They don't really want to learn something new. Trust me, you'd be better off on absolute. That's the only way I know how to do it. And I will be teaching everybody on absolute. So please put the pro stick orientation on absolute. If it's not, if you're not absolute, just you're going to have to bear with me and just. <laughs> but yeah, now that you got it on absolute, you're going to need these signature styles right here. Okay. In order. See, I wasn't lying to y'all. I really be using Stephen Curry. <laughs> All the same six for my sick video. But listen, in order to do these moves, you're going to need basic two spin pro three spin or pro four spin whatever spin gives you this spin back animation i've been messing around with basic two y'all i do use pro four it's the same thing i'll put on pro four just for this video and what's the other one pro one hesitation yes you will need pro one hesitation you see i buy all the six man i'll be trying all these out just for y'all bruh so yeah you need pro one moving hesitation and pro four spin like i said you can use basic two pro three it's all the same whatever gives you that spin back animation and that should be good anything else you can kind of change up and do whatever you want now to the pro am arena we go all right now that you got your sigs you want to go to the prime arena or the my court i like the prime arena because it gives you more space and before i get into this i just want to tell y'all dribbling is really all about repetition and muscle memory as you can see 
The more you practice, the more you start remembering. And the more you'll be able to do these moves. Now, to do the whoop de whopper I think it was what we called it. That's basically the move I just did right now. It's fairly simple. Like I said, I got the, 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 the controller cam or whatever it's called up top. So like I said, if you need to rewind, pause, slow-mo, do what you got to do. But yeah, all we're going to do to get that animation, the quick one, which is like boom. Let's try start with running backwards while holding R2. If you're on Xbox, right trigger. Bear with me. Just, you know, do the little, you know, translations for me, Xbox people. But all you want to do is run backwards while holding right trigger and press up down with the right analog stick and you will get that animation we're gonna do it one more time watch up down you see and all the left stick is doing is guiding yourself it basically if you hold the left stick down while pressing the right stick up down while holding r2 you just go backwards and if you hold the left stick forward after doing up down with the right stick and holding r2 you go right around them and you probably hit them with a behind the back or a hop step and boom see that's what i like to do to trick people i know if they're gonna be you know right behind me whoop right to the basket you see so yeah practice that if you want to get that down there's many variations you can do with it but yeah it's simple y'all just run backwards and up down with the right analog stick Make sure you're completely straight. If you're a little bit to the side, it might not work. But yeah, if you're completely straight, run it back. That's pretty much the animations you want. <coughs> All right. Now that you got that, we're going to learn how to do it in a combo. Now, one of the combos I like to do, y'all, is I'll probably start off with a behind the back. If you don't know how to do the basics, y'all, I guess I'll explain it real quick. But I'm not going to go in depth like I would because this is an advanced tutorial but look if you need to know the explosive behind the back balls in your right hand you're gonna press up left with the left analog stick diagonal down with the right analog stick and r2 at the same time or not even at the same time you press r2 before so boom watch boom boom please watch the hand cam like i said or whatever it's called boom and then for the opposite hand if the ball's in your right and your left hand it's up right with the left analog stick, bottom right with the right analog stick and R2, and you will get the explosive. Now, I'm sure you already know this, but, you know, there's some people that would rather me, you know, learn that. And then, like I said, people, you got to learn your spin back. If you do not know how to do this, please go learn. Most of y'all already know how to do this. I will explain it real quick. You just run forward. You don't want to be too straight or you'll get that animation. You don't want to be too much to the side or you'll get you know you'll get a weird one you'll get something like that so you want to run a little bit diagonally forward and while you run diagonally forward if you're running this way you're gonna spin it clockwise your right your right analog you're gonna spin it clockwise so you can get that and if you do it all together you'll get a run and spin back and that's what you want people vice versa if the balls in the other hand diagonally forward counterclockwise boom all right <clears throat> oh man the basics is crazy i forgot that people don't know that yet please like i said it's all repetition people now the combo that i like to do with it all together is i'll probably start with an explosive behind the back spin boom you see explosive behind the back do the spin and then do what we talked about where we run backwards and press up down if you do all of them together it will look like this now i know what you're wondering okay steezo i know how to do the the whoop de whoop whoop or whatever the fuck it's called but it don't look as glitchy as yours why is that well let me explain why mine looks so glitchy it is all about the spin back let me get it right right here it is all about the spin back see boom now the reason why it's so glitchy is because my spin back is straighter than usual Watch the difference between your spin backs if they're straight or if they're not. Watch. Not straight, not as glitchy. You see? If your spin back's not as straight, it's not as glitchy. But watch when it is straight. Way more glitchy. I don't know why it's like that, people, but it just is. 
But yeah, the straighter your spin back is, and when I say straight, I mean running backwards straight. So the straighter you are, run it backwards, and then you do the little up down stuff, the glitchier to look. Now I'm gonna show you the difference one more time. I'm gonna do not straight right now, watch. See, I mean, it looks kind of glitchy, but pretty normal. Now watch the straight spin back. See? Just looks a lot like you're just, just, just doing like a flip, you know? But yeah, that's basically how you do it. All right, now that you know how to do the move, I'm gonna tell you real quick the situations in which you wanna do the move. Now look, if the say the defender is playing you, right? And off every move, this happens in ISO a lot, off, off every move you do, they back up and try to, you know, secure the paint. So what you wanna do is do it and then go to the side straight out and then you'll get an open three every time because for some reason <clears throat> off that move iso players turn like iso defenders seem to just back up off of every little thing you do so if you just do it you go straight to the side you should get an open three now for the good defenders on iso they'll back up and try to bait you like that you'll do a move they'll back up and they try to run back out to you know close out what you want to do is do the move but go forward, probably do it behind the back, and you catch him. So like I said, you just gotta be tricky with the move. It's like, it's just a good move because people don't know exactly what you're gonna do, you know? And that's all you wanna do when you ISO is be predictable. So yeah, moving on. <laughs> and now for the final lesson, what everybody's been kinda like, probably clicked on this video to see is how to do the Stizo roll the roll whatever you want to call it i call it the stizo roll because i don't know i'm the only one doing it at the time it's, this is actually one of the most deadliest moves i have people you'll see me get a lot of kills in my videos with this move there's different variations of it that makes it crazy pretty much roll off anything it's really just angles and uh i'm gonna be teaching y'all the most simple version first so what you want to do for this simple Stizo roll is you want to know how to momentum. Now, if you don't know how to momentum people in 2K20, there are plenty of videos on just every year how to momentum, how to momentum that will go into the most just descriptive way possible. You know, I'm not going to get too descriptive because, you know, you should know how to do it by now. But if you don't know how to do it, you just want to press crossover from your right hand to your left hand with the right stick. Copy it with the left stick and then press R2. So, boom, boom, you see? All right, now that you got the momentum off my little two second tutorial right there, the key to doing the rollback is you want the momentum directly to the side. So, if the ball's in my right hand, momentum to the side, whoops. Boom. So the spin back is kind of a delayed thing. So you want to do boom, boom. Now to after you get the momentum down to the side, and when I say side, it's like if you're going to the left, try to make sure your player kind of just stays to the left. It's a delayed spin back. It's not even a spin, it's a roll, obviously. But yeah, momentum. And after you're in the momentum and you're in the side position, and you probably waited about like, you know, half a half a second. You want to use your left stick and kind of roll it. Look at my, look at the controller as I do it. It's like a roll. So it starts left and then it just shoots down. You could either roll it or you can kind of just shoot down to it. Like boom, boom. I hope you were looking at the controller when I said that. Boom, boom. Because it looks funny when the player do it. But yeah, combine it all together. Momentum to the side and then roll the left stick all while holding R2 and you get this. Momentum to the side. Boom. Momentum to the side. Boom. And of course, when you're backwards, you press down with the right stick just to even yourself out and give you that little behind the back. Even yourself out. But yeah, there's a lot of ways this could go wrong. Like I said, people, it's all about the angles. If you do it wrong, you'll probably look like, you know, you'll probably look like this. See how yeah, you didn't do the rollback? That's because you probably didn't do it to the side enough. One. You didn't delay it enough or your rollback wasn't you know as tight as it could have been with the left stick so if you get it right it should look like that 
And the reason why this move works a lot, just imagine the defender right in front of me while I do this move. They see you do momentum to the left and they think that you're gonna burst forward. So they naturally, they'll back up. But as they back up, you're rolling back to the three. So pretty much gives you an open three every time. A good time to actually get into this move is either right on the three point line or a little bit under the three point line. So as you can see, open three. Now you can see why that would be a natural kill for most. <laughs> and uh, like I said, you can even combine it with the whoop de whopper, watch. Ah, see, now we getting crazy, ah. This move is a kill. Like I said, it's all about repetition, people. Muscle memory, the more you practice, the more you'll get it. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of that. Also another one, real quick, you'll just do a spin with the right stick, like I said, clockwise. Do a spin like this, hold up, and as soon as you go forward a little bit as you're holding R2, do the same thing, do the rollback, and you will get this. That's also another kill, because whenever you do this little spin right here, they back up while you roll back. Green. <laughs> now you can get glitchy with it, you can combine it with combo, there's all types of stuff. Do it the opposite way, it's the same gist of it. Remember people, I can't stress this enough, if you're messing up on the roll, it's your angle with the left stick, you're not doing the momentum to the side enough, or, your timing is just off because you do have to wait just a little delayed second. Boom. You see? Rewind the video, watch the cam, put it in slow motion, do what you have to do, practice, practice, practice. People like to say, oh, what's it called? Uh, there's not a lot of moves in, in 2K20. Yeah, there's not a lot of moves, but there's still moves and they're still pretty difficult to do. Your average 2K player is not doing all of these moves, people. Same thing, okay, okay, let me explain this real quick. The roll can be off multiple things. Like I showed you, there's a roll off this, there's a roll off the momentum, there's also a roll off the between the legs, normal one. See? You can roll off anything, people. You just literally have to find the an angle. And like I said, the roll off this is to the side, boom. <laughs> but yeah, you can roll off Behind the backs, it's kind of hard to do right now. Hold on, hold on. See how I'm messing up? All I'm doing is just trying to get the angle right. There we go. Just <laughs> That's why the roll is just so deadly. Because as you can see, the Pro Force spin back, it's not as fast. But the roll, goddammit, fast as heck. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this dribble tutorial aids. Did I do good? I tried to be as thorough as possible. I got y'all the hand cam. I gave y'all little secret little details that, you know, helps you out to do these moves. But like I said, no one's gonna help you more than you can help yourself. Go to the mic court, practice, practice, practice. You can learn anything if you just practice, you have the right sigs. And yeah, sky's the limit. Aids, take what I do and just add to it. Use it in your own little style. You know, if you're a meta dribbler, take this and then you can maybe just do a roll every once in a while and now you're good. It don't matter. I don't really care. The dribbling is really limited this year, AIDS. That's why I come out with these tutorials. That's why I will continue to come out with these tutorials. I'm going to do a whole tutorial series. I actually enjoyed this. It was pretty cool. I didn't have to be too entertaining. I could just get right to the point. I can explain myself and I could just share what I know with all of y'all, everyone that subscribes to me, turn them noties on, like the video, and just go crazy. And yeah, don't let nobody tell y'all y'all can't do something. Whether you waiting for me to teach you or whether you got to teach yourself, you go out and do it. You want something, you go out and do it. You go out and grind for it. You go out and take it, goddammit. You are the chosen ones. You better wake up every day like you the chosen one. You are the greatest. No one can stop you. You are an ISO God. I love all of y'all. Y'all have a beautiful day. I got y'all with more videos. I'm on my grind. Steezo the God. I'm out.